Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Chelsea, if you're new, and welcome back to another video. Today's video is gonna be a chit chat, get ready with me. I asked you guys on Instagram to leave me some topics to talk about, and you guys definitely did that. So I'm just gonna be going over like the most asked topics or situations or questions, and we're gonna just be talking about it. So, oh, and doing our makeup. Mm-hmm. And just having girl talk so if you are interested in watching that definitely make sure you keep on watching disclosure to disclosure this is going to be an extremely chatty get ready with me but it's going to be some really good topics at least i think and then the second disclosure girl my nails are tore up i just got my nails done friday tomorrow is friday so it's been a week the polish is chipping it's real bad it's it's real bad so if you see that just just bear with me so i wasn't going to include me doing my eyebrows but i decided to just show you all real quick i like to put powder over my eyebrows before getting started because i hate greasy eyebrows then i go in with my mcd beauty pencil i'm absolutely obsessed with this pencil i'll have it linked down below and as you can see i kind of just trace and go slow make slow strokes not to be too heavy-handed then i like to go in with the concealer under and take my time i don't conceal the top because i just don't like the way that look and then this is just eyebrows are done and they look so good i think they look good Check out the eyebrow pencil, it's so good. It's my absolute favorite right now. For foundation, I wanna try the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Serum Skin Tint. I haven't even opened this up, y'all, to see if it matches or anything. I bought this a couple weeks ago and just never tried it. Mm. My sister is calling me. It's always so awkward like when people call me and they wanna talk and I have to be like, I'm working. Hello. I just ended up talking to my sister for a while because I just couldn't be like, girl, I'm blah, 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 blah. Because we hadn't talked in a few days anyways. Girl, we was just talking and she had some drama going on. I look like... I don't have much going on in my life, y'all. Like, my life, I don't have no drama. I don't be having no drama in my life. So, like, every now and then, sometimes, like, if my sister called me and she just telling me about what she got going on, I just be like, damn. But anyways, we're going to try this Danessa Myricks Beauty Yummy Skin. I got the shade 16 or the color 16. I got 16. Let's see. I would have looked, ooh. And I'm not trying to, because this isn't like a foundation, so I'm not going to go like crazy with it. Say I'm not going to go crazy, then proceeds to put dots all over my face. <laughs> all right, so let me see what I want to start talking about, because I got some good stuff. A lot of people was asking the same questions in different ways, so I just, you know. Okay, so we're going to talk about marriage. We're gonna talk about marriage and kids. But so many questions about marriage and kids, and I'm just like, whoa. I know I'm like grown, but in my mind, I'm like 12. Marriage and kids is crazy. Nah, but for real, I um definitely wanna get married and sooner than later, actually. Can you believe it? I think I'm just I'm in an era of just like settling down. And I'm, I don't mean like soon, like two months from now. I'm soon be like two years for me. But sooner than later, I definitely would like to get married. But that's not really on me, y'all. I ain't asking nobody to marry me. And, um, I just want y'all to know when I get married, it's not going to be this big thing at all. It's really, really not going to be a big thing. I want it to be very small, probably something whoa is that a nap it's probably gonna be something very intimate maybe a destination wedding something real just cute to the point we married who you know what i mean it's not it's not gonna be this big old wedding at all and after i get married i don't know about kids y'all i really don't know if you would have asked me this maybe like two three years ago 
I would tell you, yes, I want kids. Matter of fact, I want twins. How I really struggle with that. Like, as I'm getting older, and now it's like, it's so crazy because, like, I can get pregnant right now. Oh my, I can get pregnant right now, and it, like, it's not like, like, I'm grown. I can get pregnant if I want to. It's crazy. Sometimes I struggle with that too, like, this is not teen pregnancy, babe. You're grown. I don't know if I want no children, y'all. I just really don't know. Like, it's just such a toss-up. You know what I mean? And I've been seeing these TikToks recently where the girl is like, can y'all tell me right now if it's worth having kids? Blah, 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 blah. And somebody will stitch it and they'll give their um, reasonings on why they... Mostly, it's reasonings on, I guess, why they feel like kids are worth it. Or they'll just tell, like, how they feel like their kids changed them or whatever. And a lot of people say when you have kids... A lot of people say, like, when you have kids, it's basically, like... A lot of people try to go back to their old self, like, before kids... But you can't do that. You basically have to like create a whole nother person because this person has children now and this person don't do what that person used to do. And your body will probably never look the same and this will probably never be the same. And you know, just so you just re basically reinvent yourself. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I have been thinking about it often more than usual because that's not something I really think about but I have been thinking about it what I will say is if I was to get pregnant right now which God that's not what I'm saying I really do not want to get pregnant right now but if I was to get pregnant right now I would probably be in shock I would probably be um nervous scared blah 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 but i wouldn't be mad because it's like girl you grown you can handle this it's not the move right now at least at le mm -mm. i've always said mid 30s i've always said mid 30s if it's gonna happen yeah marriage and kids is something you know a girl been thinking about and like i said once again Y'all probably wouldn't even know when I got married. You know what I mean? Eventually, I'll tell y'all, but it's not going to be like this marriage series when I'm planning a wedding and doing this and doing that because I'm just... And you know what? As a little girl, we've always had that dream of just this big princess wedding, but I... Surprise, surprise, your girl don't want none of that. Like, I do not desire that genuinely... I don't. I, there were a lot of questions on insecurities, insecurities um, while being plus size, insecurities. Hold on, y'all. Um, insecurities for being a plus size content creator. Just so many questions about insecurities. And while yes, I do have insecurities, just like everybody else in the world. I don't, I'm not insecure about being plus size. I've never struggled with that, y'all. I've never struggled with being insecure about being plus size. I've just never struggled with that. So what I want to say to the people that do struggle with that is just don't, don't look at being plus size as who you are. You know what I mean? I feel like that's what a lot of people go wrong. It's just like you make that your identity. Like, like some people... If they're not talking about their kids or maybe their job, it's like they don't have an identity. So I would say like, don't try to make being plus size your whole world, who you are, the reason you breathe, all of that. You know, like to me, it's just like, it's like I'm Chelsea and I'm plus size. You know, I just so happen to be, plus. it's not like I'm plus size. Oh, and I'm Chelsea. You know what I mean? So it's not a insecurity of mine it's nothing to be insecure about that's who you are and if you don't like it change it if it's that big of a deal to where you're insecure you you never want to show your body and do these things change it whether that's lose weight get surgery whatever the case may be try your best to change it because being insecure about something you can't change is horrible that's a horrible feeling and I don't want nobody to feel that way. I could, I just could imagine 
being insecure about something you can't change. You know what I mean? Because sometimes losing weight, especially if you have other underlining issues going on, it's not it's not as easy as just going for a walk every day or exercising every day. Some people really have trouble losing weight. So embrace who you are, love who you are. I, I could not imagine being in this big tough world with everybody else judging you, everybody else critiquing you, and then you go home at night and you look in the mirror and you hate you too. That's too much. When you when you exude confidence and you and you show up as your best self and you're so confident, everybody around you can see that. That's what people are gonna focus on. They're gonna focus on what you display. So yeah, I feel like I got off topic and I went on a tangent. Hopefully when I'm editing this, it makes sense. Y'all, I really, I really just love me. Like I genuinely do. And loving me and being confident in who I am does not mean I don't have insecurities or I don't have days when I'm just like, what is this? Be walking around looking a mess. Like I have those days, you have those days and those days will always happen. It doesn't matter how much you build yourself up to be this confident girl and you just exude confidence. We all have those moments when we just like, we not feeling ourselves and that is a okay. Like that's 100% okay. But what I'm telling you is it just has to be moments. You can't live your life like that. Maybe it's me. Maybe I really am just living in a world of delusion because I got so many questions about like being dark skinned and being plus size and all this stuff. And I'm just like, I don't see nothing wrong with it. Actually, I like it. <laughs> being dark skinned is another thing. It's never been an insecurity of mine. Ever, 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 ever. I love being dark skinned so much. Being tall, people ask me about like, have I ever like, have I ever wanted to be short? And I'm like, I love being tall. This is all I ever known. This, the person I am, is all I've ever known. I've always been tall. I've always been dark skinned. Those are the things I cannot change. I cannot change those things. I wouldn't dare look at myself and hate myself for being dark and tall. That's who I am. That's literally who I am. And like I said, you can go lose weight, you can have surgery, you can do those things, but the, the color of my skin will never change. Me being tall, although I hurt when you get older, you kind of shrink a little bit, but it will never change. I will always be tall. I had a lot of questions about like my life before being a vlogger or content creator, or whatever you want to call it. Um, honestly, my life was almost kind of the same except for I have more money now. I've never, like, clocked into a job. I did hair, so I was always home just like I am now. It's just money. I, I, I got more money now, but everything was really still just how it is now. More money now, so I'm able to do my things and I'm able to like I don't plan as much and what I mean by that like we would start if we wanted to go on a trip we'll start like a year in advance we'll get an envelope or envelope and we would start like putting money in the envelope saving for this trip we want to take next year those things are a little different I don't really um ha have to do that anymore or I really don't do that anymore but I have, um, if you watch my vlogs, and every so often I talk about like my my little piggy bank I got, my piggy bank that I have, and at the end of the year I want to see how much money I've saved for my birthday. I do do that, and um, yeah, that's probably the only the biggest difference is that I don't have to save money for like trips and like I saved for my first designer bag which was my never full I meant my um speedy 35 and I will never forget after tax it cost $1,035 so I saved that for like a couple months to buy it for my birthday I wonder how much it costs now y'all how much is a speedy 35 right now I just know that it's so expensive but yeah um, I moved, so that's different. I don't live in Florida anymore. I don't live in Jacksonville anymore. I live in Atlanta. 
So that's different. And money, if I'm still the same person. I don't have, I feel like a lot of people who go full time, they have this thing like, you know, they worked a nine to five where, you know, they were had a career or it was in school or something like that. My story is just different. I've always just been basically doing the same thing. Not doing the same thing, but not having to, I've never had the job that, you know, people usually have. So that's really, mm, everything really pretty much the same job. I keep telling myself that I want to start back like saving for trips like we used to. So, I definitely want to start back doing it because why not? You know, like, why not? But I was still taking trips. I was still doing, um, like I was still taking trips. I was still doing things. It just wasn't to the magnitude as it is now. We got a lot of topics about like home ownership and whether or not I've been thinking about like building a home or owning a home or whatever. And I'm just like, no, actually, no. <laughs> I'm just not there yet. I don't know. We got a text. Hold on. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm just not there yet. Maybe, maybe once like the marriage and the kids happen, if they happen, maybe I'll be thinking about that. But I, I'm not. So, how I look at like where I stay at. For me right now, it's like vacations. It's, it's like vacation. I want something nice and easy, luxurious, but I don't wanna, I don't really wanna work for it. I just wanna be able to pay for the convenience of it. You know what I mean? Do you get that? Like, I'm not, I'm not ready to build no home. I'm not ready to own no home. Honey, I, I still wanna stay in the high rise. I'm not giving up my dream of staying in a high rise, y'all. Like, no. So please do not be surprised for whenever we move from out of here, we be in a high rise. Like, I, I still have to do it. I have to do it. it. I have to. I have to. Like, that's one of the things I have to do. I have to experience it. I don't care if I get in this high rise at the nicest apartments that Atlanta have to offer and I hate it. God forbid. But I have to say I did it. To myself. That's what we want to do. Me and myself, we want to experience that. So, yeah girl, don't ask me about buying no house until I at least stay in my high rise. Then after that, it'll be like, alright, you, you've done what you wanted to do. What we doing now? Alright, so... Now we're gonna talk about comparison. Um, what is in my eye? I don't really compare myself. I do something else. I don't really compare myself to people. I just feel like if Danielle can get a sponsorship with whoever, then I can too. I feel like if Rebecca can um, make $50,000 a month, I feel like I can too. So that's what I do. I just take what, what somebody's doing and if I desire to do that, I'm just like, okay, if they can do it, I can do it. Because all I need is for somebody to show me it's possible. Sometimes we don't think shit be possible for us, myself included. But if you see somebody else do it, then you're like, oh, okay. I can do that too. I got questions about like meet and greet, would I have one, would I consider one, won, won, won. And y'all, I just hit 96,000 subscribers last night, which means I only need four more thousand subscribers to get to 100K. And I, we gotta talk about this. I feel like this angle may be a little different. I had to change my battery, so sorry. All right, so back to what I was talking about. I uploaded my first YouTube video four years ago. So in November, it'll be five years. And I have uploaded 695 YouTube videos. 
That is crazy. That's a lot of videos. And I'm at 96,000 subscribers. And I just cannot believe it. Like, this is like the first, like, of course, like, you have like the, you have your first big subscriber goal of a thousand so you can get monetized, but 100K is like, you get your plaque, like YouTube recognizes you. It's just such a big moment in a YouTuber's life. <laughs> and I'm so excited, like, I'm so excited. I'm excited, I'm just so excited about um getting ready to hit 100,000 subscribers and I'm so excited because I feel like it's happening at a really good point in my life. If this would have happened three months ago, girl, it would, I would have just had to let it pass by. I had too much shit going on. I would have just had to let it pass by. I'd have to run it back because it was just too much happening. But right now, it's just like, okay, like this can happen right now. And I'll be able to, you know, like celebrate and actually be happy and just, yeah. I feel like that's just the start of just something new. We're just in a whole new era, y'all. Like for real, for real. And I guess that can lead us to our next topic. Like, um, um, what's the word? I don't think we should be scared or nervous or embarrassed or shy to reinvent or like rebrand ourselves. I honestly feel like that's what's holding a lot of us back, myself included. Well, I'm, I'm finally tapping in, but for a long time, I feel like doubt, I feel like that's what was holding me back from being like my best self because like reinvention or rebranding or whatever you want to call it to people that's not accepting of those things or that's just stuck in their ways they don't want to change want 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 to them that looks like you fake you switching up you changing you this you that but that's what life is about life is about growth and elevation and really just tapping in and becoming the best version of yourself. So if that means you don't want to sit under the tree and smoke weed all day with your homeboy that you grew up with since kindergarten, then you do that. You do what's best for you. If you want to start reading more, if you want to start walking more, exercising, going to church, if you're doing something good to help you out, what's the problem? Like. Why would somebody be mad at you doing something good for yourself? If you have somebody who's talking about you doing something good for yourself, you need to get those people out your life. It should never be a time where you're benefiting yourself and people talking to you crazy or seeing you changing or this, that, and the third. That's that's really, really insane. Some people aren't just aren't some people aren't to that level and I'm not the type of person to try to wake you up and show you the way of life and how you should be doing things because everybody develops at different points in their life at different times. So that's not your job. That's not your job. As bad as we want to take everybody with us, unfortunately we cannot use what it is. So with that being said, I feel like I'm going through a point of like, reinvention a rebrand a new era like i'm just so excited because i feel like i'm loading up i feel like i'm i'm loading up and i'm getting ready and when i finally start it's over not playing like i'm gonna tap into it so hard i mean everything i'm so excited i'm so excited i feel like the fall is coming it's gonna cool off I thrive in the fall, in winter. Those are my months. I'm my best self in those months. I'm so excited. Yeah, I just feel like a whole rebrand is coming. A whole new era. So, yeah, don't be scared, girl, please. Don't. Scared of what? Like, what are you scared of? If it's something you want to change about yourself, do it do it and do it as many times as you need to some people <laughs> some people reinvent themselves change themselves so much like every couple months 
you a new girl. But you can do that. You can do whatever you want to. It's your life. And the thing about life is when I break it down like this, it's like we only have one life. Once our heart stop beating, it's over. Ain't no redos, ain't no reruns, no retries. You're done, you're done, you're done. Do what the fuck you wanna do. Do what you wanna do. I don't care about people, like, who cares what people think? And that's just where I'm at with it. Like, that's just where I'm at with it. I don't, I don't care. I don't, Cause that's the only thing that keeps us from doing what we want to do. We care so much about what other people may say or what they may think. Who cares? This is the Morphe Jumbo Continuous Setting Spray. I've been loving this. I love setting spray. Um, can't do my makeup without it because I feel like it just really melts everything in. And I like to use two. This is my first one just to like set the base. And then I do another one when I'm finished with everything. I just realized I started talking about like a meet and greet and never finished. Sorry. But, oh, because I started talking about how I was so close to hitting 100,000 subscribers. And... I always said, like, when I hit 100,000 subscribers, I'm gonna do a meet and greet. When I hit 100,000 subscribers, I'm gonna do a meet and greet. And although I am so nervous and so scared to even consider that, I feel like, I, I, I feel like half of me wants to do it and then half of me feels like I owe y'all, like, a meet and greet because, like, why not? So I've been thinking about like what I could do, something small and intimate, not too many people because no. I've been thinking about it to come up with something. I've been thinking about maybe, I don't know. I don't, we'll see. I have no idea. Cause like a meet and greet where? What would I do? What, what would we be doing? How would this work? You know what I mean? I'm not, it's not a hard no. It's, it's definitely not a hard no. So for lashes, well, let me tell you about my look first. So I just got on dark brown lip liner and then Fussy by Fenty Gloss. These are the lashes I'm about to put on. They're from Amazon. I'll have them down below. Anytime I'm doing like a chit chat, get ready with me. I always finish my makeup before I finish actually talking. But my makeup is done. I feel like it turned out really nice. Like, I like it. I like it a lot. I really like this um, Yummy Skin. This is good. The color is good. I like this. I like the way I look. I'm loving the lash look. Anytime I'm able to wear strip lashes, I always enjoy it because I love the way they look. But I am a lash extension girl. I really like the makeup. It looks really good. But to wrap up this video, I just want to let y'all know that, um, like, take your time in life just take your time do you stay true to yourself do what makes you happy because being happy being happy is just such a good feeling like being happy within yourself and with your life and how things are going and not every moment will be a happy moment but find the positive in everything there's always some type of positive in every situation, you just have to change your perspective on things, change the way you look at things, change the way you think, change your mindset. You know what I mean? I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I had so much fun in recording this. Our first chit chat, get ready with me in the first place was a success. I had so much fun. I am so excited to just see us grow as a community and just see where we go from here. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you a part of my family. I would love for you to help me grow to reach 100,000 subscribers. I love each and every one of you all. If you are not new here, thank you so much for coming back every single time and supporting me. Like, it truly means everything to me. I love y'all so much. Words could never describe how much I love and care for you all, but I'm going to wrap this video up because I'm going to record another video. Your girl on her Zoom. I'm, I'm, I'm on my Zoom. I must admit, I'm on my Zoom. Love that for me. 
But yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching, supporting, liking, sharing, commenting, all the things. Love you guys, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.